Wednesday. <laughs> New segment. Are we doing a new segment now? Hey, Willow hey, Wednesday. Hey, hey, Willow Wednesday. So we got a Hey Willow Wednesdays convo that came in this week. Shout out to the person who wrote the letter. Hey. And we have a new reader this week, guys. Oh, shit. Yo, I got you, brother. Everybody, <laughs> Damien is going to read <laughs> no, for you. It's just cause these, so pay these attention to like Indian style and give him your So this is this is the Hey Willow Wednesday, Wednesday topic. So our Hey Willow Wednesday is topic this week. And like hey, Willow Wednesday. Hey, Willow Wednesday. Hey, Willow Wednesday. <laughs> Listen, like and share, everybody, because it's like about to share, get like good. You know All what I'm right. saying? All right. So question for the show. Hey, fellas. My boyfriend and I. This is a female, by the way. Mm-hmm. My boyfriend and I. That would kind of change the dynamic. Ha ha. Say it's a woman. On, okay. It's a young lady. Uh, uh, hey, fellas. My boyfriend and I have been dating for about a year and a half. Mm-hmm. I have a four-year-old son, and his father is not present in his life and does not help me at all. I hate ancient. I hate That's ancient. That's a fact. Okay. That is Sometimes a fact. it gets extremely hard, and I want more, but I don't get more. I had a conversation with my man, so she has a guy. Had a conversation with my man about my frustration and not having enough and wanting more from him, you know, the baby daddy, in regards to my son, and it didn't go so well. He felt that he was giving as much as he can right now and that I should turn my frustrations toward my son's father. Did I read that wrong? Yes, you did. I feel like you did. I I feel like I flipped it. Mm -hmm. You want me to read it? No, no, I got it. I, I read it. Plainly, but I, I feel like the words fucked me up. All right. So he was turning to the baby, to, to her man. Right. Okay, got you, got you. Yeah. So she, okay, so she was leaning on a guy. My bad. So. I didn't read, I'm not reading I'm trying to read it, but it's I'm like, not it, reading this it. shit threw me off because she just said him. You can't just say him and that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so me, I'll, I'll run it back. Please. I had a conversation with my man about my frustration and not having enough and wanting more from him. So him means your man. So you're saying, okay, got you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm flip the word. My bad. I had a conversation with my man about my frustration with not having enough and wanting more from my man in regards to my son, and it didn't go so well. He felt like he's giving as much as he can, and that I should turn my frustrations towards my son's father and ask him for more help. See how that made more sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Word. I feel like because I know I won't get what I want from my son's father, why is it even an issue for you to do? Long story short, long ass story. (laughs) All of that you say long story short. Come on, really? Sorry. Long story short, I told him I feel like he, talking about her man, is not ready to be a full man in our relationship because of that. Was I wrong for saying that? Did I go too far? As he overacted? It, well, oh, hello. Oh. Do what? Pronunciate. Sound out your vowels. What here. they said? All right. I missed one word. What you said? <laughs> I said, did I uh, did I go too far? Is he overreacting oh. for being so upset about it and not understanding my point? Okay. So, I'm sorry. That was Do long. You, I feel like you need to read it one more time. I'm not reading this again. So, let Jason read it. So, at the end of the day, I can sum it up. So, basically. I, I feel like we still need to th- read it one more time. This woman has a child with a man. Mm-hmm. The, the baby father ain't doing what he needs to do. Mm-hmm. So, what she did was she's talking to her current boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And she had About a conversation. up the slack. Mm-hmm. And, and he was like, I mean, I'm doing what I can, but that's you and your baby, mm-hmm. pretty much, right? Mm-hmm. Like, that's you and your situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so she's like, well, I don't think you're a man for not stepping up for me. Mm. Mm. So. Oh, wow. So I'm going to do a bomb for. That's I appreciate hot. that. So since we are the relationship for this gurus, anonymous person, wow. shout out to the anonymous shout, person. Shout out to that. That's a fact. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. Shout out to you, lady. Shout out to you, young lady. Shout out to you. I need y'all to proofread. Oh, no, it's not proof. No, I, I just uh, feel like you didn't read it properly. But I, it, I feel like you, it. It I feel read. like you can't read because you said overacting. I missed one word. Cool. So let's 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 talk about this topic. One now. Word. Okay. So, <laughs> shorty. Has a child's father. Yeah, and he ain't the, shit. The, he ain't shit. He's Work. not caring for the kid at all. But she's in a relationship with a man. Mm-hmm. She then turned to the man and said, listen, all the shortcomings that are happening, I'm looking towards you to step up, to step up and help me with this situation. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Is she wrong? For asking for help? For asking for help. 
And also, there was two questions. There was two. Well, is she wrong for wait, wait, wait. And okay, it, the it, first question said, was, was, I wrong for basically, is she wrong for Was I wrong for saying that, and did I go too far? Right. No. Is he overreacting for being so upset about it and not understanding my point? That's literally what the question yeah, yeah. says. Mm-hmm. Word. How do we feel about that? Mm. Come <laughs> that on. It's such a deep concept. Talk to us, uh, relationship gurus. How we feel well, about Well, somebody says she w- they think she went too far. Okay, okay. so she okay. went too far. Okay. Um, first said it sounded like she need to be mad at her baby father. Okay. Mm-hmm. Landon said how long they've been together. Okay. A year and a half, mm. it said Landon. Uh what, what what I will say is this. I'm I'm gonna jump off the ledge here. I'll be the first person to bite. Wait, let me read one more topic. Okay. Um, com- um comment. So okay. Shake keep moving. Shaky said, Okay, let me speak on this because I got my stepmommy license. Mm. This is not his kid, period. Everything he's do- everything he does is a blessing and she does she should appreciate it wholeheartedly. He is not required to do anything in reality. She is wrong. Okay. So can I jump off the ledge real Go quick? Go ahead. I want to jump off the ledge and we're gonna see where we land. Mm-hmm. Cause I'll be the first person. I will take the first arrows or the first bullets, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Um She's with someone. Mm-hmm. That individual knows that she has a kid. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's not that kid's, it's not that person's child. Yes. But he is with the Her. child's mother. Yes. Mm. Um, it is not 100% his quote unquote the duty baby. to take care of that child. It's not. Mm. It's not. It, let's, let's keep, it is what I'm it gonna is. I'm going to play devil's not. advocate. Well, I didn't finish. Jesus. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me go. I am <laughs> sorry. I am sorry. Don't be sorry. Be careful. Don't let that right. happen again. I won't. Ooh. Cool. <laughs> All right. Hey, yo, um, Josh, look. <laughs> what I will say is, although it is not his 100% responsibility because he is not that child's father, he did sign up to be with the woman with the kid. Mm, okay, so okay. you signed up. You know what it was when you signed up. That's right. a fact. You know I'm saying you're there. You stepped in. One, do you see a future with this woman? Mm-hmm. Right. If you see a future with that woman, right. you will have to take care of that kid. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. It is what it is. It's like, a package deal. It's a package, package deal. deal. That's so a fact. you're at this point in time, you're you're I guess you're not hundred percent together. I d I don't know. There's there's a couple of details missing. You're not hundred percent with that person, you're not living with that person, so there's still great You don't area. know, right. There's yeah, a lot there's of great lot, area. Lot, lot, lot um, of I, I would say that you went a little too far by pushing everything on that man. Mm. Um I do also say that that man has a little responsibility in stepping in. Whatever he does should be looked at as a plus. Um, he's not supposed to be the primary caregiver of that child just yet because that's not his child. Mm-hmm. Um, now, if you're saying you were living with that person and y'all... 24-7, you know all saying? day, yeah. every day. Then, cool, you got to step up, my nigga. Like, you, you, it, is it, is. it is what it is. But as of right now, anonymous individual, uh, you can't blame your boyfriend for not taking care 100%, 100,000% of your child. Um, you laid down with someone else and made a child, so you need to work it out with that father of that child and don't put that on me. That, wow, that's Landon not... said, Shorty, he said, long story short, Shorty got good pussy, but she ain't got stepdaddy good. She got a pussy I, good, I, but I, not I, stepdaddy I disagree good. with that. I disagree with that. Yeah, I, I, I think that it's weird because it comes down to that individual. Me as a man, if I'm dealing with someone with a, with a child, mm-hmm. I would feel obligated to step in. Now, I don't feel obligated to cover everything 100,000%. I don't feel like that should be on me. Right. But in my heart, I should want to give and want right. to care and, and want to take what, control. And what I'll say what I'll say in terms of reading, um, from reading and hearing what was said, it sounds like he does. I, I'm just assuming. I don't know because it wasn't said. But right. it sounds like he does give forth something or he tries to yeah, do. It's just not 100. It's not, it's, it's, not, it's not everything to, I guess, cover for the child. I right. Guess. It's not because it's still it's still a need and a want, right? But if there's a need and a want, you should go to that child's father and say, "You're not doing this. We need this, yep. right?" And that's where I guess we'll split hairs with the individual that, yeah. that wrote this because I feel like you should go after that child's father. Like, mm. what the fuck? Like, yo, I'm, I'm I'm out here with your kid and I'm struggling. What the fuck? You feel me? Like, what's going on here? And if you're not going to step up, then we need to find an alternative mm. that would help you step up. 
I hate the fact that niggas just have kids that just be out here yeah. and they're just out here. Shaky said she went too far by saying he's not ready to be in a relationship because he showed initiative by doing so. Yeah, she said mm. she said that you are less than a man. Oh, well, let me let me read it. Long story short, I told him I feel like he's not ready to be a full man. You're wrong there. Absolutely man. wrong. So did you overreact? Yes. I think that you went too far. Landon said I get her point, but she definitely worded it wrong. But I with I without a doubt feel him. But how long have they been together? That's what he yeah, keeps reiterating. We need, we need to know a little bit more. It says a year and a half. Mm. That's what it says. It what says a that? year and a half. Yes, that's what it said. Y'all read what Wade said? Uh, well, what did Wade say? It said if he's, <laughs> if he's doing... If he is doing <laughs> for the Wade kids... What Wade talking about out here? I said what Wade said. What the fuck Wade talking it's, about? Huh? If he is doing <laughs> for the kids as much as he can, she can't press him and say he ain't a man because he still she still need more and the baby daddy ain't stepping up at all. I agree. I, I think it's okay to express that, that you, you want more, more. That you mm. that you. But wants don't more. call me less than a man. Yeah, but you right. can't be. You can't don't be saying. My, yeah, yeah. You don't come in my manhood. I mean, because I don't have a child, miss. Yeah, you do. I mean, <laughs> at, at the end of the day, if both of your intentions are to be with each other long term. Yeah, you just gotta work on the communication. Like mm-hmm. that I mean, is the number one thing that you really situation. do. You gotta work on the communication. Uh, 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 uh. What I'm I'm gonna try to play. What I'm going to try to do in this situation here, I'm going to try to... Of the devil's advocate. I'm going to try to... Right. 14 I'm, other niggas in your head. But one thing, you got to answer first before you play okay. devil's advocate. What's what your I, stance? What I'll say is I feel like... I feel like she needs... I feel like in that situation, the young lady is not willing to take responsibility herself for the situation. Can we unpin that and put the new topic on there? It is. Mm-hmm. You understand? I feel like I, see names I feel like what she's trying to avoid is not even the situation with the baby father or the child's father, but more so what she's trying to avoid for herself. If that makes sense. One more time. I'm sorry, I missed it. I said I feel like she's trying to avoid not necessarily what's going on with the baby father, but I think she's trying to avoid what this real issue is, is with herself. Oh, I like that because. You don't I like it. We can get serious. Let's go. Because I feel like show tonight. I feel like you. <coughs> because I feel like you know as a parent uh-huh. what you can't do, uh-huh. and you've known what you couldn't do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You met somebody, and you know what they couldn't couldn't do themselves. So, I agree. So now, with that being said, you're trying to get more out of this person, and there's nothing wrong with wanting to get more out of your partner. Right. Ever. If anybody was to ever say you asking for more out of your partner is a bad thing, leave that motherfucker. Now. Okay. Okay. But you as a person, you've had these responsibilities before that person got here. So right. now you don't want to step up and do what you have to do to get more for yourself. And then that's something that you need to face within yourself. Mm. And I feel like that's what she is avoiding uh. by asking him to do more instead of asking herself to do more. Jesus. God damn nah, it. Nah, the nigga just preach. God you damn it. You just preach, bro. Like, because that, that's, that's, Boy, that's, preaching. that's the one time where... My my bluntness comes out. He said uncast. Landon said <laughs> uncast Barry for Neil. Neil. <laughs> <laughs> uncast him. Cause. No, because cause, cause for real, that's the one time my bluntness comes out, right? Mm-hmm. Because I, I've we've all dated women with children that weren't ours, right? Never. Are you serious? That's it. I have, yeah. I have. I, I, me, I, I have never. Personally. I've never. I have. I've never. I have, never. yeah. I've Get never, the fuck out of here. I'm, I'm in a room full of people that ain't never dated women. No, Barry, Barry, Barry said yes. Week, okay, oh, okay, Barry. Right. <laughs> so two out of the five of us. Yeah. Yo, I've never been in a room full of guys that never dated a woman with kids. Yeah, I, I've never, I've never done it. Interesting. I've yeah, never done that's it. That's a dub for me. Really? So, so maybe, maybe my, maybe my Boy, viewpoint, is viewpoint skewed. is skewed a little bit. Wow. Okay. okay but yo, no, but that's no, no. But, but it, it makes but it, sense uh, with certain things. But do, okay. It, it just makes sense. I agree. There, mine what, is what too. What do you say? I'm sorry. He said you don't mo- got no mic, Wade. He said it, he said <laughs> he said his mom is a single mom, so his his opinion isn't as skewed. He's seen it. He's lived it. So he can talk to it. But right. one thing I would say, but I'm saying, as a young saying, child, being, you fully don't understand and grasp the full concept of what's going young. on. Well, I mean, but he's no, talking about I, yesterday. I, I we talking it. about growing up. <laughs> we just, ain't talking about yesterday, my nigga. Like, uh, he talking about well, last week. I felt great. <laughs> like, who can you grow? But um, go ahead. Um, no, that's what I say. But I, but I still want to play devil's advocate. But you say your point, and I'm gonna play. Devil's I learned. Advocate. I just simply learned something from dating multiple women with kids. Y'all know I'm like 60, right? 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80
That's what uh, kids. <laughs> so my point is, is I've dated a lot of girls with children. Okay. And, mm-hmm. and and what always comes into play with women with children is, especially if they're single mothers, sounds bad to say, but unfortunately, a lot of times they're struggling. You know. Yeah. And so, so. But you kind of sign up for that, but, no? But but, but but this is why I'm gonna play that. But, but, but let him keep finish. going. Mm-hmm. So women who are single mothers, a lot of times raising a child practically it's alone. Hard. It's super hard. It's tough. It's tough to raise hard. a kid. Period. But Let then it's tough to raise yourself? a kid alone. Oh, that's super hard. You know what I mean? Like, we fact. get it. I get that part, right? Shout out to all the single mothers out there. Yeah, no, Big no, fact. No, Shout out to all the single mothers out there. That's your hardest shit. That's your hardest shit. Y'all but, raising but, kings and queens, But queens, what right? happens is... Big facts. You can't meet a person. I'll just take myself. You can't meet me and then expect me to pick up your slack. Like, like it's a requirement, right? It can't right be... Right away. Right, it can't be a requirement. But she said a year and a half in. So, so that's, is there that's, a time? that's not right away. Mm-hmm. So it's a time frame. Because now, now, now we're saying we're building towards something, right? Mm-hmm. So let's say in a year and a half, you there's no kids involved. A year and a half, you meet somebody, y'all move in. Right. Y'all are together, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Put a kid now. A year and a half, y'all meet each other, y'all move in. Right. So now y'all live, y'all under one roof. Mm-hmm. You, the kid, and, and the kid's mom. Right. Mm-hmm. You would take care of that kid 100,000%, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all under the same roof. Mm-hmm. So. You can't ignore like, the kid. I, you can't. So when you buy dinner, you buy dinner for everybody. You're yes. providing for yeah. that kid. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. for her to come to you a year and a half in, mm-hmm. and y'all living together, and be like, "Hey, baby X need blah blah blah," it mm-hmm. would it would fall on you. It would behoove you. It would fall on you to take care of that because you are under one roof and you're you're the man of the household. You have to take care of that. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. I don't know if y'all feel that. I feel, but, 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 I feel okay, the old, so, old damn coming out. But no, 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 what bring, else, bring them out. Well, what, before, <laughs> bring, bring them out. out bring what them out. out. What, what I'll say in the situation. Like, in before head, I like, play devil's advocate. I don't know advocate. if you see a bubbling. I'm over no, here no, like. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I, <laughs> in devil's advocate situation. Before I play devil's advocate. I'm sorry. In that situation. Him doing that is still, I feel like, an added bonus at the end of the day. Right, because liberation. you want to be rich. Liberation. Liberation. Because as, because. Liberation. Liberated. <laughs> Liberation. Nelson Mandela cover. We are free. Because because I feel like God damn it, I don't have to do shit. That's your fucking child. But but, but you're but, under the but, same but, roof but, now. I don't but, but, okay, but, but you don't okay, you don't know. I put something to it. I put something to it. You put us in the whole house together. Because I feel I feel that if if you're with someone at this age, like you should be looking towards something else. You're of building course. towards something. That's a fact. I'm not out here fucking around no more. All you know right. what I'm saying? So so wait, so let me go. So a year and a half in, you're now living with this individual. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm putting extra stipulations on it, yes. Yeah, because you're I changing am. the whole I, shit. I, I am, but but I think I think we're past this. We answered this already. Yes, yeah, Shorty, you took it too far. Okay. I think yeah. we answered this. So yeah. now now let's talk about it a little further. If you're under the same roof, because that's the ultimate goal. Under those goal. pretenses, if you're under you the same do. roof, that's the as same a man, goal. You, gotta do you, what you gotta have do. to do what you have to do for that you kid, do even though it's do. not and yours. And under those pretenses, you can't say, you "Yeah, we live do. together. I'm gonna take care of everything." But, yeah, but you gotta go to your baby. Father. I ain't doing shit for that baby. Yeah, that's yeah, living yeah, under yeah. the roof. You, like you can't say that. But once you move the goalpost, cool. It could say anything. That is true. But what I'm gonna do now? What I'm gonna try to do is play devil's advocate in a situation. Right? Simone said, "My mother never chased my father to take care of me or expected her boyfriend to take care of me. She worked hard and stood on her own too." And in this generation, females always chasing after their child's father to give them money and putting them on child support when they choose to lay down with an ain't shit person. Mm. I like That's that. What I'll do to play devil's advocate because I feel like right, I don't want to. I don't want to make it seem like it's a one sided thing. So I want to try. I want to try to play devil's advocate. Well, we're not one sided at all right now. Yeah. What I want to say is, in that situation, I'm gonna try to understand what the mother is feeling. In that situation, she's just looking at it as. You are my you are my man. Okay. I chose I want to be with you. I chose to be with you because I, I need f- help. Help I, me, nigga. <laughs> right. I chose to be yeah, I chose but, to be who But it's not nobody well, else. I'm wait, let me finish, Dave. I got you. I got Come you. Come on babe, now. But let me finish. <laughs> I chose to be with you because I felt like you as a man potentially can do what it is I feel a man needs to be mm-hmm. in my life and in my child's life. My, well, in this particular my son's life. So now me turning to you shouldn't be foreign, a foreign thing because I need the help. You already knew my baby father was a shit, mm. unfortunately. So now, what is it? Why is it something crazy for me to say, "Hey, I need more help"? Why is it something crazy for me to say, "Hey"? I have that answer. Oh, no, I'm no, not. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Oh, no, I'm playing devil's advocate. It's not even that I want to answer. I just kind of want to lean into what Bar is saying Go a ahead. little bit okay. further, just to Talk paint to a picture. Because I wanted to. I don't want to make it seem like it's one sided. No, because I do. Because I want to. I want to make two points. And granted, like I don't really disagree with the, anything that anybody said. So, mm-hmm. but um, 
My oh, Wade was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wade was wrong all night. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess I guess I'm gonna ask this to you, Dame. Like, yeah. what if she is working forty plus hours a week? Yeah, mm-hmm. she's literally she's gone through all Busting the legal shit. She's gone through all the legal action to try to get money out of from her baby daddy. Right, mm-hmm. he just ain't no- shit, nigga. Nothing happened, mm-hmm. right? Right, right. And I'm I'm willing to I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt that if she's asking for money mm-hmm. or for any sort of help or just asking for help, right? Sure, sure. She's probably only asking for help betting on the fact that she probably believes that his intentions are to be with her long term. Yes. So if all of all if let's say if all three of those things are the case mm-hmm. and granted it is that's her child and her responsibility. Mm-hmm. Yes. Talk about it. But does that change your mindset at all? Just a little bit. That's a question. Oh to yes, Dame. To Dame. To me. Oh to, to you. Dame. Okay. The fact that she's really trying, yeah, like and it you, just didn't work like, out. You can see that she's exhausted everything that she can, every pop, avenue, right, that she every right. avenue that and she. And she's like, "Yo, Dame, Jesus, can you just give me fifty dollars, please? I got to take In care of something example. for, right, right, for right. Baby X." Um, no, I, I mean I've dated women with children. I, I don't have a problem being that because that's different. Mm. Once again, just like I right, said earlier, it's changing the goalposts. Have, that's a fact. I it keep is, saying it, we it keep is. moving the goalposts that different is places. Moving the goalposts. I say if you need it and I have it, of course, I got you. Period. No matter what it is. Mm-hmm. L- no. If I anything, do- what I think Dame <laughs> is saying is, if I'm doing what I can, the very best that I can do for you, yeah. right? I have my own responsibilities. But if me knowing you have these responsibilities and I'm taking it on and I'm That's saying I'm going to help you the very best I can, cool. But then now you come to me and say to me, "Hey, I'm less than a man because I'm, I'm less than a I'm man than because a man. I don't want to." And there's no, because I don't no give you money. That. So she did take it too far with that. She took it too far. Yeah, with yeah. there's no cool. defending. But so I'm, we're all in agreement. Yeah. yeah, okay. I mean, I've dated girls with kids. Like I've had to do that. Like I, I get that. Like I get, yo, I have no money. I need Pampers. Okay, make sure f- we gotta Baby's find a way. To, right, like, we gotta <laughs> find a way to do that. <laughs> Who's gonna shit on the babies? You know, like duh. But at the same time. I don't feel that you should make that my responsibility. In fact, that should be your responsibility. And and just to flip it, so we ain't like female bashing. Yeah, that's why. I if was it was to... my child, mm-hmm. I couldn't put that on a woman. Like, well, you got a baby but sitting you now know because what, you know I got this child or whatever. You want to know why that that you can't say that? Unfortunately, and it's and as men, it is hard for us to think the way that a woman would think in that situation. Think drip. Why I say that? Because we as men are trained automatically that if that's our responsibility, that is our responsibility and our responsibility alone. So for us to automatically Wait, think what? and say, yo... You missed me. I don't understand. I'm saying you have a kid. Yeah. You're automatically wired to say, no, this is my responsibility and mine's alone. So I'm not going to ask a woman to take care of my son. I agree. You're going to order... So but, but for I'm you be, to I'm say that now, it's kind of hard, bro. I, I don't. And I the agree. only reason why I disagree with you is because... Maybe I'm stubborn. No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, yo, y'all love it because we getting I'm getting nice, so I'm gonna tell you the, the honest truth. In real life, we look to women to take care of our kids. Now, I understand that it's like, well, not really. I'm a man, I get it, right? But if you have a child and you meet a girl, most likely she's gonna love your child because but women are naturally nurturing. But you don't look for her for to, her. to do anything for your child. But the, but the difference is, God damn it, wait, no. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no, but the difference between men and women is, and that's what I'm saying, I'm being honest. The difference between men and women is she would look to do that, whereas men would not. Petty Porter said no female should He's expect a man. Him. No, no, no. I'm no, he read a the, comment. What's come on, read, it's an yeah. interactive live show that's we like got what here. I said, you know what I'm no, I like what you said. I, I heard it. I was thinking uh, about Chris, it. Chris Porter said no female should expect a man that is not the father of said baby to be responsible for that child. I slightly I disagree. Yeah, I slightly disagree. I yeah, disagree. I wait, disagree. Because, wait, what? Did because I've dated I, I, I say it again. I say it again. No female should expect a man that is not the father of said baby to be responsible for said child. Did he just type that wrong? No female shouldn't expect or should expect? I'm he shouldn't. said should. Female should not expect a man that is not the father of that baby to be responsible for that baby. And I'm going to say I slightly disagree there. I yeah, do. Because once again, if you're... People have you kids si- out of wedlock. No, not even that. You signed up for this, bro. So when you, you got to do when, something. When you met Shorty, right? We're talking about a year and a half now. We're not talking about a one-night stand. You didn't meet her at a bar. You busted and you left mm-hmm. her. You don't know she had a kid. Right. A year and a half in. That's you what she know said. That she got a you kid. know she got a kid. You've most likely in a year and a half been mm-hmm. around that kid. You've that's done things together with the kid and the child's mother. A year and a half. Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. done that. So, you yes, you're not expected... You do have some culpability. 
Because if you if you dove in, if you jumped in the bed with that woman, you took on and her responsibility. Some you of her did, responsibility. You did take that on. You can't say, oh, I'm with you and not the kid. You can't do that. Mm. You you literally cannot yeah, you do can't. A year you can't, and a half You fade? can't duck that fade. You that fade, you, you cannot can't, duck. Because at the same time, if Shorty's like, yo, I need food for the crib. I can't eat. Guess what? That baby can't eat. So when you swing bread that way, the that baby is eating. That bread is for her you know I'm saying? the baby. So you can't say, oh, yeah, I'm taking care of you. Only you, baby, not the kid. No, I, you, you, I, I get it. But I just think the responsibility part comes from the, the fact that you make it an obligation. And I'm not obligated. What, and what, and, and, and I've walked away I, from a situation on some real life shit. Like, at the end of the day, ma'am, mm-hmm. this ain't my child. Like, I've had to have that conversation. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's a tough conversation to have. Very but true. I have had to have mm-hmm. that conversation. Like, well, I understand everything that we've been on, everything that we done did. I, this ain't my child. Gotcha. So, I mean, I feel you, but it's like, uh, well, and then so, I do, so, and then I do so, the whole so, Simpson. I'm, so, so, I'm like, so why, so why look further into that person if they have baggage that you can't take because that's not your child, right? That's baggage, right? That's mm-hmm. true. So why would you indulge the situation a year and a half later? You're still with that person. I'll tell you why. Because sometimes you take on things thinking that you can handle it, mm-hmm. right? Like that's the real answer. You're like, I think I can do this. I'm cool. Mm-hmm. And then when you're like, oh, you want real response, like. Like but you, 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 you can't, re, bro. No, wait, you can't me, renege a year and a half on, in, bro. Let I, let I, me, I don't, me, I don't let agree me, with that. Let me, let me, let me just, let me just go ahead. Me, I'm sorry. Let me, let me just say, you start to realize I'm gonna say it fucked up, but that's the first way it's coming out. You kind of like, oh, you want me to be a father, father? You want me to be a so daddy, I, daddy? So don't lead her on, then, Dan. Well, it's not leading her on. It is. No, no, it is. It is. Is it? Yes. Is that right? You are leading her on. You're saying, you know what? I'm here for you. I'm a man for you. I'm gonna be the man in your life. And then you fully know that. Wait yeah, a minute! That, you want to be to be a man, yeah. man? I good, can't good, do good. that. That's what, fucked up. Because what you're not understanding it's is when convo. I love it. What, you're, what you're not understanding is when a woman with a kid. Yeah. And granted, like I know this is gonna sound weird because I'm like I'm speaking for women with kids, and I'm <laughs> <laughs> and you're clearly not one. I'm clearly, clearly not one. <laughs> but you have yeah. to understand that when they're looking for a man long term, right? They're not just trying to find a man. Like they're not just looking for a relationship. Chris, call in, brother. They're literally inviting. That you into their lives. You into for their. You in, What's the number? Because her and the kid are a family. Yes. Period. And that per, and they're, a she, period. Yeah, period. they're a package period. deal. Yeah, they're a package deal. Period. And okay. she is inviting you, you to be in. part to of join this their, package. To join mm. the, to join her family. Her family. Yes. Mm. That That's is what. Is, so you can't say, "Oh, I'm gonna fuck you. I'm gonna knock right. it down. Yeah. I'm gonna beat the pussy up." But right, right. But that baby, I don't got shit to do with that. So that's why I'm saying you can't do that. So so what I'll say in the what I feel like in the synopsis of all of it is. Darcel said, "Preach, Josh." What I'll say oh, no, is, I love it. Preach in, now, in, here, in that situation, what I'll say is, if the man that you're with is not willing or he's not doing everything that he can do sure. for you and the child in that situation, then that's where the issue really lies. Mm-hmm. So then you should not you should not accept that job if you cannot do it. Right, mm-hmm. but this is that's you should not accept but, that but job. That's why I'm saying you have to make sure you always put context. Yeah. You have to always put stipulation and context in the situation. If he is doing everything that he can do in the situation, right, 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 then mm. then understood. What if, if what if what if whatever you can do is just not enough? Then then that's a different that's a different conversation that has to be had between you and the young lady. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, if I'm, it is not enough. Then that's a conversation that you and her need to have, and then when it's y'all have that conversation, but that's what she's saying. She, uh, that's what I, she's saying. I, I guess her, we her keep whole, circling back. Yeah, her right. whole synopsis is, is mm-hmm. you're doing something. It's not enough. Keep Chris in we, control. Yeah, yeah, you're you're doing something. It's not enough. I need more. Right. So and so now that I need more, and I'm mm-hmm. voicing my frustration, she said, "Am I wrong?" For overreacting and calling you less of a man because you yeah, cannot handle that, yes. this situation. Yeah, she is wrong. She, that she is wrong. She 100%. is wrong. Uh, she is wrong for calling someone less than a man. We have a caller. We got Chris. Yeah, what's going on? State your name. Where you calling from, brother? Hey, yo, man. This be your boy Petty Porter in the building, man. How y'all feeling today? What's going on, man? Not what's going on? Now, I wanted to call because I wanted to explain why I'm saying. As a person who has dealt with a plethora of women with kids who have went all in, who have spent money. This is the reason why I kind of agree with that. Because when said things happen, like when you want me to pay for the child, when you want me to pick the child up and do all this other stuff, it's me be father. But then when that child fucks up and now it's time for me to get in that child's ass, no, you don't want me to do that. Okay. Double-edged sword. Okay. 
It's a double-edged so, sword. Hold on, so hold damned on. if you do, damned so if you don't. women want men to play father halfway. Mm. You know what I'm saying? While, we, while me and another chick could not stay together, was because I told her, either you want me to be here or you don't. Mm. Me being here mm-hmm. is also, if you want me to be in this child's life, is also being the, the father figure that he does not have. Mm-hmm. Darcel so said that's not true. Not but... going to allow me to do that. <laughs> Darcel said it's not true. Back up. Yeah. Now, Darcel... now, 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 now. If you want me to, now, if you just want to lay up, kick it, and do all that, we can do that. Mm. But I'm not going to be in that child's life like that because that child don't need that. Mm. You see know what I'm saying? That child don't need me being there if I'm not going to really be there. You see know what I'm saying? Mm. That could do more harm than actual good. Mm-hmm. So the thing is, is that I know people and all the females and the Comment sections are going to disagree. Of course they are. But let's, but let's be real. How many times have you heard? Because I know I've heard it. That's not your child. That's my child. I hear that with niggas who are biological fathers. Hmm. You know what that is, though? What's up? Talk to Because I don't, I, he's making valid points because he's definitely right about scenarios like that happening. But I think at the end of the day, it's a commu- it's a communication problem if that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. You have I agree because like w- it's a very delicate situation. Oh yeah. So mm-hmm. you got to be very very clear when communicating with your partner and with the child too about what the expectations are with the relationship moving forward. Mm-hmm. Once you've mm-hmm. crossed that road into being like this man is going to be a part of our family, a major significant. So, the, and I feel so, that. so yeah, and I feel and, like and, yeah. And, and come on from a- Josh, you mm. got to understand, you're coming from a logical point of view, yeah. right? A logical person yeah. would say, Josh is 100% correct. Mm. You got to understand. Look, I'm not saying this is all women. I would never say that. Yeah. But a lot of chicks out here, mm. you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know if it's them emotionally disturbed from past relationships or whatever, but being burnt, I don't mm. I don't know. But mm. a lot of them don't think like that. Yeah, that's true. You know a lot of people don't know so, how to communicate, so... All right. So, but I just so, got to point out that you, you sound real calm right now, and I don't think I've I like heard that. you. I like that. Call like in. That. Calm. I like that. <laughs> no, it's, 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 no, you make a good point, but I'm just kind of like. But this no, is the topic that you, you got to be calm about. my approach because people have <laughs> been telling me that I'm too mean, that I'm too harsh, that I'm too this. You I'm trying to be are. Calm, I'm trying to talk at a nice, calm level. You know what I'm saying? So I can articulate my point. Chris, my nigga, I appreciate you, Thank you for calling, bro. Appreciate you calling. Oh, my bad. All right. <laughs> we love you, Chris. Thank you. All right, bro. So to wrap this up, what I'll say is Dr. Chris Porter, man. To answer the young lady's question who who rent who rent us, who wrote us rent the, us. Wow. wrote us the letter, you were wrong for crossing the line for calling a young the young man less than, less a, man. Than, less than a man. That's wrong. Yeah. Because if you want to be real, he's taking on somebody else's responsibilities. Mm, okay. Like if you like if you wanna let's we, we all talk about being truthful and blunt and straightforward about a situation. The young man is taking on somebody else's responsibilities. Okay. So now for him taking on somebody else's responsibilities, he has to get some type of credit for that. Mm-hmm. He, yeah. uh, he has to. Yeah. So by you saying that he's not a full man for not wanting to do more, that he can't do more, that is, un- I don't want to use the unword unfair, but that's that's unreasonable. No, it is unreasonable. The only The only... The only way I feel like it's reasonable is if you've had the conversation and he said he would step up. And, and then, then he, he hasn't at all. I, 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 think you're, I think you're 100% right, Josh. It is communication. It's just communication. It's all communication. And don't get me wrong. Most people aren't good at it. It's something that no, you... No, that's true. You, that's you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta work at that. You gotta work that's you gotta something work that you have to... You gotta work Because yeah. everybody... Yeah. I feel like, as a whole, general sense in the black community, none of us really know how to communicate very well. <laughs> As a general sense, I said general, no, general, I like that. general, I like that. general. Wow. I'm not I talking about all of us. I think that's a black community. I think, wow. that's, I think, I think no, that's no, a but people. That's why you said. That's why you said general. Yeah. I, I said that. general. That's one I'm, I'm not saying. saying. The biggest problem with people is we don't that know they how to talk to each other. Fucking talk. talk yeah. So this, I, I can't say the black community. That's no, no, that. he, he's not saying black. No, he, that's what he said. No, I did he say black. He said the black I said community. Black, he said the said black general. community. Then I said general. And then oh, me and Josh was like, ah, yeah, no. Fixed it. Okay, okay. I think that's a people thing. Yeah, it's not, it's people not a color can't thing. communicate. Like if you get on a train in New York City, it's a whole lot of motherfuckers right. thinking the same shit, looking at each other, thinking the same shit, but too scared to just talk to each other. It's fucking weird. Mm. Like that's what we're looking at. I'm looking at you. You looking at me. We looking at her. He looking at her. And everybody like, so yeah. It's like it's Imagine like. Imagine if everybody just right. said, "Don't you wish that I sure do? Don't you want to? I damn it." We, okay, we, cool. So how how about this? Can we wrap it up now? Can we can we give her a uh, 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 final answer to this? It's situation? been a very long answer. Yeah, yeah. we can honestly just move on to me. Facts. You know? more, but, so you don't want to give a? Just we, give, damn it, we didn't gave a hundred of them. Come on, gotcha. no, but to cool. finish yeah. it, but she she because she's looking for closure and some type of answer. 
I, I could I think I could sum it up. Cool. Okay, please. I think yes, I could sum it up. up. If both what's it called? So both of your intentions are to be in a relationship long term, you guys just gotta communicate better. Period. That, that's how I that's how I would frame Period. it. Period. You were wrong that's for right. what you did, but if you still want to be with him, you, if right now your relationship is at a crossroads, unfortunately, yeah. and you put it at a crossroads. Huh. For what you said. For what you, yeah. Yeah, for yeah. What you yeah. said. Unfortunately, it is at a crossroads mm-hmm, right mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. But, at, but if, you talk to, if you talk to your man and he wants to still be with you and you still feel the same way, you just need to talk, in a com- you need to talk calmly, logically, and just hear each other out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. And, okay. then establish, and then establish the new expectations going forward. Boom. Yeah. I'm going to do this. I agree. I agree. <laughs> you ain't I nothing. agree. Snaps. 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 Word. Preaching. Shout out to Jan Jan on the check. Oh, 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 oh. What's the next topic, mediator, uh, moderator? We going to do what I like. Yo, that like. was a very good question for him. Yeah. Yo, like yo listen, really quickly. Anybody who has any questions, anything they would like to ask us. Mm-hmm. Anything y'all want us to not, discuss. It's always anonymous. Listen, Send do it. not hesitate to write us. We will talk about it, discuss it, and give us our honest opinion. And we up. are your relationship gurus. And we what will you're be drunk. We'll be funny. But at the same time, we will be serious about what you're saying because we feel like you're going to come to us with something. Just like this is something serious. You this may come serious. to us with something funny. So... If you whatever it is that comes on your heart, we're not gonna tell anybody who you are. You could tell us and ask us whatever you may feel. Hey, 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 you know what I'm saying? And ask us whatever right. you feel like. So shout yeah, out you know? to the person who wrote us that. I hope you get some 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 nut much needed answers. Uh, What's the next topic, me?